What's up guys, let's get into it. So today we're gonna to answer another subscriber's question and he's asked, is it difficult to move to public accounting after working in industry? Will there be no growth if a CPA works in industry? All right, so there's really two things how I wanna answer this. Um, first thing, I don't think it's it's hard to move into public accounting after industry. Obviously, it's gonna depend on the a level and the skill set you have, right? Let's say for example, you, I don't know, you started working in, in, uh, as in like an accounting clerk at a company and now you, you know, run AP and now you're the senior accountant in, um, <clears throat> at a, you know, a big company or whatever, like you're at some company as a senior accountant, just doing the books, helping with the month and close, so on and so forth. If you want to move into public accounting and be an auditor, it's going to be very difficult for you to sell that you're going to come in as a senior associate, kind of the equivalent title of a senior accountant in industry. And just because I say this, accounting and audit are two separate worlds, okay? Two separate skill sets. You may be a great accountant, but you can be a terrible auditor. And I say that just because if you've never audited before, it's a completely different skill set from accounting because I always say this, accounting is like black and white. It's, it's not, you know, it's, it's just, it's zeros and ones. It needs to debits on the left, credits on the right. There's no, you know, ambiguity there, right? It's like, it is what it is. Audit, on the other hand, it's an art. It really is an art. You need to be creative with how you test certain account balances, how you approach certain things. You can get really creative with how you audit. So it's two different worlds and two different skill sets, I think, in, in, in my head, the way I think about it. So it's not that it's hard. It's just that if you're very, very experienced in your career, it can be very difficult to come in as like, you know, an audit uh, from from private going to audit, it, it's very 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 difficult because the audit skill set is, is tough. Again, it's not. I'm not saying it's difficult to make the move. I think it's. I think it's easy to make that move. Just the higher you are in your career in private, the less I think you would want to move into like an audit role. Let's say you're you're you know you're a staff accountant and you want to go in the audit. Perfect, cool. But then once you hit senior accountant, are you going to want to go over to a public accounting firm where you might even need to take a pay cut? Who knows? You may be, maybe not. Depends, right? But I don't think it's difficult. I just think it gets more difficult if you wait longer. Let's say you're a corporate controller already. Well, you're not going to go want to be an audit associate, right? No way. There's like, why would you make that move? That, that doesn't make sense. But you know, one thing that I don't really talk about too much on this channel, but I think consulting is a viable option too. Uh, I think especially if you know financial statement analysis, financial accounting, I think consulting, different consulting roles. Again, I'm not going to talk on too much on consulting because I'll be honest with you guys, even me from a firm, from a business professional standpoint and a firm standpoint, there's so many consulting roles and, and, and work that consultants do that I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not even privy to. Like I don't really know and I need to know and I'll be honest, that's a big weakness of mine. I need to know, but um, I think it's more difficult to go again i don't know i'm like repeating myself but you the higher you go in private to go into audit it's going to be less enticing because maybe the pay not be might not be as good and you know if you're an accounting manager already are you really going to want to be an audit associate i don't think so but if you're early on in your career staff or senior accountant i think going moving to audit i think is a great great alternative i think it's a great role and you know, it, it really, it, and then the second thing, yeah. So, it, I mean, in summary for your first question, not that I think it's difficult. I just think it's a personal choice. And the higher you go on in, in private industry, not that it gets more difficult to move over. It's just going to be more difficult for you because again, the pay might not be there at that level. And maybe a consulting role, if you want to get into, into professional services, might be the right thing. If you're already, you know, at the controller, accounting manager level, something to look into. But I think if you want to get into audit specifically, uh, I think the Earlier on in your career, I don't think it's hard at all. I always say this to everyone. If you can get some job in accounting, a staff account, senior accountant, I think sometimes that's a little easier to come straight from campus. If you're not hired on campus, not the end of the world, get a job you know, somewhere else. And if you want to jump into public accounting, if you're in your first two years in your career, I think it's a very seamless transaction. But again, it's to come into public accounting higher than an audit associate is going to be very hard sell just because you don't have any audit experience. So again, it really just depends on where you are in your career. And then will there be no growth if a CPA works in industry? I no, that I think, well, it depends again. It's, it's all contingent upon what company you're at, right? Cause you can, I can tell you, I've had some clients or some people that I've known that have worked in industry. And while I have made from audit associate to audit senior manager, that's, you know, in a span of seven, eight years, 
they have stayed in the same position. And I've known people like that. And not that that's wrong or not that, but it depends on who you are and what you want, right? I think private industry sometimes does provide a little bit more stability. I think the hours are a little bit more, you know, you know, I'm going to come in at nine, leave at five. I think that sometimes the expectation is a little lower. I think sometimes, and for me personally, from my experience, I think it's a little slower paced. Uh, but again, it depends on what company you go to because maybe you're going to a high growth company that's acquiring new businesses every three, four months. They're doing bolt-on acquisitions. They're going through, they're doing financing rounds. They're issuing equity. I mean, they're, they're, right? So it depends. If you go to a more mature company, like let's say you go to a manufacturing company and they've been around for 50 years and you know they don't, they're not looking to acquire many businesses throughout the year. They're kind of business as usual. That might be a little slower and you t- you need to understand what company you're going to. And, you know, if, if you ever, let's say you're in public accounting right now and you decide to leave, when you leave, you need to make sure that, you know, you're so used to, and I, I, I experienced this myself, you're so used to this fast paced environment where you're serving different clients, where you have different teams and you have different managers and, you know, there's events, you know, for, for there's happy hours and there's social events and there's networking events and there's so many different things you're doing, Right. When, if you go to a really mature company that's, you know, kind of just like growing steadily and the management team's great, but everyone's, you know, slightly older maybe per se, um, you know, everyone's a little bit more t- seniored in their career, it might be a really hard pill to swallow for you because you're so used to like go, 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 go. And, you know, there it's, you know, you close the books every month and you're kind of on your way. May, but maybe I suppose you go to a company that's kind of early on, five, 10 years old, you see that they're issuing, you know, they're doing rounds of financing for their equity. They're, you know, buying new companies every three, four months. Their vision is to double within the next five years, whatever, right? You need to understand where you're going because I think that's really going to dictate how happy you are depending on what you want. Maybe you decided to have a family and you want to just have a more steady lifestyle and you're okay with, you know, more of the nine to five and that's great. Okay. Don't let anyone tell you that, you know, working a nine to five and strictly that, and you don't have to work you know, all these extra hours and you kind of know what time you're going to be home. Don't let anyone tell you or, or, or shame you into thinking that's bad. That, that's great if that's good for you. But the worst thing you can do is do a job or do something and then be envious of other people because they decided to go a different route. Don't do that. That's bad. But you need to understand where, what you want out of your career and what you want out of life and make decisions based on that. So no, I think just because you work in industry doesn't mean you're not going to have any growth because on the other hand, I've also had even my own clients where, you know, when I started working with them as they were accounting managers at their companies, now they're, you know, director of finance, director of FP&A. Now they're getting stock options. They're getting units in the company. So that's also awesome. You know, that's really cool. And that's very, that's a viable option. There's stock options available, especially for these high growth companies. So no, I'm not, there's not to say that, you know, once you go to industry, you like hung up the ropes and you hung up your gloves and you're done. No, but it depends on be, I'd be very cautious if you're going from public accounting or, or, and jumping out into industry, just be cautious as to what company you're going to, what their vision is. And you know, how often are they acquiring companies? Do they want to double? Do they want to grow? Or are they more mature and they just kind of want to steady out and, and continue business as usual? It depends on what you want out of your career and what you want out of life. So hopefully this video was helpful until next time. Uh, no, I, I missed that. It's outro up. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to smash the like button below for the YouTube algorithm until next time. Work hard, dress well, peace.